Good evening. Vaccinate so you can participate. That's the message from the Premier, who's foreshadowing a greater easing of restrictions once 70% of Victorians have had one dose. Today we clicked over 60%. Fueling hope will reach the next milestone faster than expected. Mimi Becker leads tonight's coverage. In the race to vaccinate, Victoria is picking up speed. We're on track to hit the 70% single-dose milestone before September 23 when restrictions are due to ease. Hopefully we can get to the 23rd earlier than that, that 70% mark, and we can not only deliver on the things we've already committed to, but some more, and that's the work that's going on now. Current predictions say we'll reach that target four days earlier on September 19. The Premier has already promised a 10k bubble and an extra hour of exercise, hinting we could go further. We can not only deliver on the things we've already committed to, but some more, and that's the work that's going on now. But that really is in the hands of every Victorian. VCE students among those rolling up their sleeves today. Excited for the next one. Yeah, um, I'm just really glad I got it done. Something we've been working towards for a while now, so just to be safe, lock it in. Young Victorians made up 91% of the state's 183 new infections, 101 were linked. But in better news, Victoria's latest daily vaccination increase is more than 51,000 jabs. 60% have had one dose and nearly 38% are double dosed, edging us closer to the double dose freedoms. Everything from restaurants, cafe, retail, um, uh, sporting events, uh, theatre, the, the list goes on, on and on. The kind of freedoms regional Victoria is likely to enjoy this week. So there'd be a greater freedom of movement, there'd be a greater greater economic activity, they would be in a form, they would be open. And despite New South Wales having 1,485 new cases and three deaths in the last day, the state is looking forward to freedom in just over a week's time. Mooney Valley Racing Club wants to follow that lead. It's hopeful up to 5,000 fully vaxxed punters could be allowed to attend the Cox Plate next month. We want to be part of the solution. You know, in 50 days' time, where do we want Melbourne to be? Where do we want Victoria to be? But the Premier says when events are finally allowed, the unvaccinated shouldn't expect to join. To protect the health system, we're going to lock out people who are not vaccinated and can be. Mimi, how many appointments are currently available? Over the next seven days, Alicia, there are 11,000 first-dose AstraZeneca appointments available and earlier this week that number was as high as 70,000, so it shows just how big that uptake has been. In terms of Pfizer, there are 2,000 first-dose appointments at state-run hubs, but no doubt they will be snapped up very quickly. From tomorrow, Year 12 students and teachers will be eligible for a priority vaccine at state-run clinics and those doses will begin being administered from Tuesday and run through until mid-September. Alicia? All right, Mimi, thanks so much.